Good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday. What a beautiful day it is. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. I am Gail, and this is... James Gilmore. James Gilmore, and we are on track. All right, I've got a proverb from a, the wise man Solomon. Proverbs 27, 5, 6. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. But the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. You know, a lot of times we just want to hear what we want to hear. Things that make us feel good and everything. But sometimes we need to hear the things that's going to help us. And today I just want to say true friends tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear all the time because they love you. And just like Solomon says here, you know, it's better for you to tell me something that's going to help me rather than to keep it. Uh, so, you know, people, I know sometimes people get offended when you try to tell them to do the right thing, but in essence, it helps us because sometimes when friends tell us something, Solomon says like wounds, but he says faithful are the wounds of a, ch of a friend. You know, I recall when um, sometimes I went to work sometime and uh, sometimes I'd have, you know, like toothpaste around my mouth and some people let you go all day looking crazy. And then somebody said, you know, you got something around your mouth. I said, I appreciate it, you know. Uh, I, that's just an example. But true friends don't let you, uh, they'll tell you what you need to know, even at the expense of hurting you. But it says the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Uh, because an enemy, depending on what their agenda is, they'll just let you go and tell you what you want to hear. And a lot of times it leads to destruction. Pastor, what you got to say about that? You know, the Bible tells us there's no greater love mm -hmm. than a person that lay down their life for a friend. Mm -hmm. Amen. If somebody telling you something and you get mad and you laid them out and chewed them <laughs> out, that's almost like killing the person. Mm -hmm. But he said, there's no greater love than that. Mm -hmm. And we got to realize that, hey, we got to tell our friends the truth. Mm -hmm. And we can't go along with everything that they say. And they help us. Mm -hmm. And it helps me. Mm -hmm. Tell me mm -hmm. what you got to tell me. Mm -hmm. Be my friend. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, it, it might wound you in the beginning, but, you know, it, it's for your good. Even the Bible says, you know, uh, if, if, if God doesn't discipline us, we're almost like a bastard child because... Uh, you don't love me when you just let me do and you just tell me uh, the things that I want to hear. So keep those things in mind that true friends are going to tell you the things that you need to know for your success, you know, rather than just telling you what you want to hear all the time. And along that line, join me tonight at 7 p.m. for Church School Live. Uh, the prophet Isaiah is still speaking. Last week, he foretold the destruction of Babylon and the destruction of the children of Judah. Oh, no, they didn't want to hear that. And he was telling them the things that they needed to do to turn these things around. But this week, he foretells redemption. Oh, that's the good news. I know probably more people be tuning in tonight than they were last week. But tune in. God foretells uh, about redemption. This is going to be a good lesson. I'm going to be also telling you more about what that word redemption means. So tune in to the Gym Nugget. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gym Nugget. Like, comment, thumbs up, share with somebody. We're getting this word out, y'all. We're getting this word out, Pastor Dye. Whether we're on track, whether we're doing church school live, whether we're doing life study, whether we're doing it on Sunday mornings. So you be blessed, you be blessed, and have a great day.